located across Lafayette Square from the White House is St. John's Episcopal Church, known as the Church of the Presidents. Built in 1816 and designed by U.S. Capitol architect Benjamin Latrobe, every president since James Madison has attended at least one service there. Historian and church member Richard Grimmett gave American History TV a tour of the National Historic Landmark. One of the little-known facts about presidential inaugurations is, is that uh, it's been a, the custom in modern times to have a, uh, a church service, a worship service of some kind, uh, before uh, the president takes the oath of office. Now, a lot of people feel that that's been something that's of long-standing tradition, and it's not. It actually began with Franklin Roosevelt on uh, March 4th, 1933. Defeated President Herbert Hoover was the last president to retire from the White House in the month of March. Likewise, Mr. Roosevelt was the last to take the oath of office as chief executive on the traditional March 4th date. He wished to have a worship service take place before he took the oath of office in the depths of the Great Depression. So he contacted the, the church and he organized a special service with his uh, former headmaster at Groton School who participated with the church in coming up with a special service. They had that service at St. John's uh, that morning and he felt that that was the way to start. He wrote letters later on saying that he thought that he got his administration off to the right footing by having that service at St. John's uh, in March of 1933. Now what that did was it planted in the minds of people that this was a good thing to do. So when Roosevelt died, Harry Truman became president. When Harry Truman was inaugurated in 1949, after his election in 1948, he came to St. John's and had a pre-inaugurational worship service here uh, before he was sworn in uh, for his uh, full term as president. Subsequent to that time, other presidents have had pre-inaugural services in churches or elsewhere. Not necessarily in St. John's, but the tradition began here and it began with Franklin Roosevelt. 